In this video, we'll look at binomial probability experiments and computing that on the TI-8384 calculator. Here we're going to compute the probability of X number of successes in the N independent trials of an experiment. They give us N is 20, probability is 0.85, and we, have, we want to have 19 successes. So we take our calculator, turn it on, we go second VARs, so we get to distribution, you can go up or down, but we have to go, it's easier if you click up. We want to go to binomes PDF, binomial probability distribution function. Click enter. Now, the input into this is exactly how it's written here. You always have the number of trials, the probability, and then the number of successes. So 20, comma, 0.85, comma, 19. Hit enter. And that gives you the probability of 19, number, 19 successes with an 85% chance of a success happening. Okay? All right, let's go to another problem. In this problem, it's a binomial probability experiment. But here, we want to compute four or less successes. So it's a cumulative. So 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 successes that you would want to add up with this probability. So we do a similar thing on the calculator. It's just as fast. We do second VARs to get to the distributions. We go up and we go to the binomial cumulative distribution function, the C. Click enter. Now same thing, the number, probability, and successes. So we have 12 comma 0.3 comma 4. Hit enter, 7237, 0.7237 round up. So that's how you'll find the cumulative. Now remember, if you had to find a greater than, what was if we wanted to find greater than? Well, we'd find the less than, 1 minus the second answer, and this would be the greater than. So greater than four successes. So you can be creative in finding the other ones just by finding using this function to find the less than, then you're able to find the greater than quickly just by subtracting it from one because the probabilities always will add up to one. All right? That's how you find probabilities with the binomial experiments on the TI-8384 calculator.